All right, here we go again, ladies and gentlemen, talking about these damn games, these godforsaken games. And right off the bat, we're going to talk about the Pacers laying down in bed, losing by 30, just getting their heads kicked in the door like it was nothing. And I said that there was a chance that this would happen, that they would come out and they'd lay down. Halliburton will give you 13 points when he should be dropping 30. Nemhard 11. Turner, 16. Siakam played a good game, but when he's your leading scorer, that's never a good thing. That means no one else is getting things going. He's a good player, but he's not supposed to be your leading scorer. That's how you know you're fucked up. Now let's look at their bench. Not looking good. You got seven, you got seven, and you got six. That ain't going to get it done for any team. And free throws, they shot all right. They shot enough free throws. Even if they made them all, they still get their faces kicked in. They didn't even shoot that badly. It's just that they didn't play any defense. They let New York do what they had to do. They let Brunson get his magical 44 points. And like I say, when Brunson scores 44 points, that's the recipe for the Knicks to win. If you let him drop 44, you might as well just throw in the towel. It's over. You can't let this brother at six foot two drop 44 points like he's Steph Curry every single night. He is not Steph Curry. He is nowhere near what Steph Curry was in his prime. He's a damn good player in his own right, but he's just not that. They're making it seem like he's unstoppable when he really isn't. He's just powering guys down. He's got a low center of gravity. He's a tough, strong guy, so he puts his shoulder into guys' chests. And instead of taking the charge, they just try to battle it out and let him inch his way closer to his spot. And he gets his shot off anyway. These boys don't know how to play defense. They're letting Hartstein grab 12 offensive rebounds. That's 12 possessions that you let this brother get. This brother alone got his team 12 possessions. Now let's say they scored on every single one of those. That's 24 points. That is 24 points you potentially gave up. Because you didn't want box out. Because you didn't have the desire. Because... You lay down. That's the result. You let this man grab 17 boards. That's what a team gets. You let him do it by himself. You let McBride log in 40 minutes, 17 points. And then you let Alec Burke drop another 18 points. That's the ball game right there. Between those two gentlemen, that's 35 points. You gave up 35 points points to role players two role players that don't even play one guy wasn't even in the rotation up until last night and you let him drop 18 points that's a shame on this team and that shows you that they laid down they had no desire they didn't give a damn what happened or what the outcome was they were told to clearly lay down there was no effort there was no desire Guys just weren't even trying. And I guarantee you this game, the Knicks are going to lay down and let the Pacers win just for the Knicks to win in Game 7. It's always going to work out this way. You can tell the team that's going to lose, they lay down. They don't look like they were, the way they looked when they were winning. That's the way the NBA wants it. The NBA wants you to not know who's going to win. Look at this. They shot three at 34%, but they shot, they made 12 of them the same as the Pacers. They shot better. They made 47 shots. The Pacers only made 31. They made 16 more field goals. That's the ball game. They made 16 more field goals, 12 offensive rebounds to one guy, and 35 points from two bench guys. That's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. That is the ball game. If I'm Rick Carlisle, the little hair that I have, I'm ripping it out. Because I just can't stomach this. Because this team is not better than you. But you're not playing defense. You're laying down and you're letting guys go off that shouldn't be going off. The best player on your team got outplayed by a role player on the opposite team. A role player outplayed you and you're supposed to be an all-star. And you're telling me I'm bugging? Get the hell out of here. I'm done with this game. Next, we got the Nuggets. Same story here. The T-Wolves laid the hell down. They didn't give a damn about this. You can tell by the way they played. Anthony Edwards drops a sweet 18 points. That was cute. It was a very cute 18 points. 
I ain't gonna get it done. You guys lost by 15 points. Basically, if Anthony Edwards shows up like he does every night, they win the game. But he decided to lay down. He probably was told to. He shot the ball only 15 times, less than Carl Anthony Towns. Only three more shots than Alexander. That ain't gonna get it done on any planet, especially if you're playing the defending champs. So clearly, they told this team to lay down for three games in a row. Three games in a row. They have to win this game. It's almost inevitable for them not to win this game. Either way, I think Denver's going to win the series. But I think they're going to let the Timberwolves win next game. And then let Denver win in game seven. But look at this. They only got three players off the bench. This is the New York Knicks uh, sequence right here. They're playing like the Knicks right here. They can only rely on three guys. And they can't even rely on them. Let's look at these stats. Free throws. They shot free throws at 68%. That ain't going to get it done. They only made eight three-pointers, guys. That's never going to get it done, ever, on any planet. I don't know what this is. It's in my way. But you can tell they ain't doing well. All right. They're blocking the stats over here, but you can see somebody dropped 40. I think it's Nikhil Jokic. Nikola Jokic, I can't tell. I think Jokic dropped 40. And then you got 16, 16, 18. So basically the starters showed out. So when the starters all play well, they all scoring double digits. You got a problem. That means you wasn't playing defense. That means you laid down more so than I already thought. And they only played four deep. And they only got 16 from their bench. I don't know what to say. This team came out 2 nothing. They looked like a whole brand new team. They looked like the best team in the league. Now Minnesota, they look like the worst team in the West right now. I just don't know what to say. The inconsistency is unspeakable. I can't explain it. They only made nine three-pointers, the Nuggets did. And they shot 55% from the field. You're going to win most of your games doing that. And that tells me that the Nuggets had no resistance. The T-Wolves played no defense. So two teams that lost, they both played no defense. And they both had stars that didn't show up. And that's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to pick the game tonight. Boston, they are 15-point favorites at home, as they should be. I don't know. If Donovan Mitchell plays, I'm giving the Cavaliers a chance to win the game. If Donovan Mitchell doesn't play... The Cavs are walking away with this one. Or, I mean, the Celtics are walking away with this one. And the Cavaliers are walking home and watching the playoffs from their couch. But if Donovan Mitchell plays, they definitely going to cover that spread. I don't know if they're going to win. But they're going to cover that for damn sure if Donovan Mitchell plays. All right. Last game. We got the Mavericks versus OKC. I thought the Mavericks was going to take a 3-1 lead. They let these boys tie the game up. The Thunder, they're going to be at home. I think I'm going to take the Mavericks, though, in a tight game. This is a tight series. These game, these teams play pretty tight. P.J. Washington's going to drop 30 again because they got no answer for the brother. And look for Kyrie and look for Luka to play a little bit better. I got the Mavericks winning this one, even though okay.